Good day, this is Vincent Bongolan and I'm going to present Statistical Data Analysis using SPSS. Nowadays, educational institutions are requiring their undergraduate and graduate students to produce a high-quality researches in the form of a thesis or a dissertation. In the 21st century, research has been recognized in almost all fields of endeavor. In order for the doctors to maintain their residency in the hospital, they are required to produce an evidence-based research to update them regarding the new trends, practices, and principles in medicine. In manufacturing company, research plays an important aspect in achieving high quality of their research products and services. In conducting research plays an important role in analyzing data. Researchers should have wide knowledge in statistics so that he can properly address the problems in the research. Assumptions in statistical tests should be met in order to produce a valid and accurate results, leading to a meaningful conclusions and recommendations. Now, statistics holds a central position in the field like industry, commerce, trade, physics, chemistry, economics, mathematics, biology, botany, psychology, astronomy, and many others. Thus, application of statistics is very wide. The role of statistics starts when we are interested in getting information from the data we have. By doing research, we can generate data. But most of the time looking simply at the data, it is very much tough and hard to draw conclusions. In analyzing data, we can get a valuable and meaningful information. This information makes our knowledge. But the data in the real world are subjected to have so many errors. Only valid and accurate statistical analysis is feasible to correct such erroneous data. And now, I'm going to begin my lecture. So, research and statistics. Research is a process of re-studying the proven facts, however, exploring the possibility that there are still a gap that triggers the researcher to re-study and fixing out the problem. When we say research, we are delving to gather information which support our claim in fixing out the gap we have noticed. While we were in the process of research, we should need to have at least knowledge in basic statistics to its difficult and complex form. Statistics plays an important role in decision making. If we have a problem that we need to find an answer, we should utilize the power and principles of statistics. In the series of lecture which I am going to produce, I will be discussing the theoretical and applied principles of statistical data analysis with the use of SPSS. It is a step-by-step -step procedures on how to calculate the statistic using SPSS. And I am also going to produce a lecture on it before applying the step-by-step -step procedure. SPSS is a statistical software which uses a user-friendly drop-down menu to run the analysis of the data. Like this, this is a Microsoft Excel and this is the SPSS. See how they are different. Okay. Similarly, SPSS and Microsoft Excel software are both user-friendly. The columns such as A, B, C, and so on are the area where we should place the variables. So the variables are gender, 
father's education, mother's education, algebra in high school, and so on and so forth. Whereas the rows such as the 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on are the area where we should write the respondents or items. For example, respondents 1 are female, is female with father's education and mother's education, similar to SPSS this is. Okay? The data editor, so here is the data editor of SPSS. It is further subdivided into two windows the data view this is the data view and the variable view when you click this data view this is a worksheet type similar to excel so this is a data view similar to excel variable view is a place where we can define and code the variables under study so you should write the variables here what type of data you are going to include or to encode how many decimal places if it is a numeric and this is the actual label or variable name of this variable for example this is mae this is a code however this means it is a mother's education okay figure one is a panel view of what spss calls the variable view in the SPSS data editor for our file, it shows information about each variable. When you click on variable view at the bottom left of the corner of the screen, this is what you will see. So, here is the variable name, the variable type, the width, the decimal, label, values, missing, columns, align, measures. So, the label contains the actual name of the variable. The values are the code used in each of the variable. For example, for gender. The code for gender is 0 if male and 1 if female. So, these are the code. For father's education, 2 if less than high school to 10 to PhD or doctor of medicine. For math achievement, this is math achievement, this is a test something like act to math. So this is the how to code the variable in SPSS. Just click the drop down menu at the left, uh, right corner. Okay, this is the right corner. Define your variable as to its name, type, with decimals, label, values, missing columns, aligned, and measures. So is this. So now, we now go to data analysis. Data analysis is a process of inspecting, cleaning, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of highlighting useful information, suggesting conclusions, and supporting decision-making. Again, this is the last knowledge exists to be imparted. In my second video, I'm going to present the different statistical analysis with the use of SPSS. It is an actual computation of statistics up to its conclusions and interpretations. Thank you very much and have a good day.